Teatro Zanzani has returned for a dinner and show experience unlike any other. Arts correspondent Angel Ido introduces us to the Chicago artists that are taking center stage under the big top along with a number of circus performers from around the world. Welcome to the Big Top, home of Teatro Zanzani. It's Cirque de Soleil meets Cabaret with a little circus action in between. You can go and see any kind of music in Chicago. Things are, you know, starting to open up again. And lots of different stories being told. None of that is going to be anything like what happens in here. Comprised of circus performers from around the world, this unique dinner and a show is reminding audiences what it's like to consume live entertainment again. It's not the way you smile it touched my heart. Bethany Thomas plays Madame Zanzani, and it's her first year in the production. She grew up singing and performing throughout Chicago, but says nothing compares to this experience. I've been very interested in just watching the audience and honestly seeing what they connect to and how. It's always just like, oh gosh, I really, really want to give them what they want. And, and what can I do in my performance to really do that? How can I be the best version of this character I'm supposed to play? My job is to please you right now. It's not for me to stand up for myself as an artist. It's not for me to try to win an award. It's like, I want to make you really have a good time right now. Unlike traditional theater shows or performances, Teatro Zanzani almost always relies on improv. The two weeks of rehearsal is like, let's make sure all the people that are doing these crazy stunts don't die, and everything else we'll figure out in front of people, <laughs> in front of an audience. <laughs> so yeah, there's been like, we've added in songs, changed songs. So many different transitions are still being reworked. You really don't understand what's going to work until you're in front of an audience. So it's been unconventional a little bit for what I'm used to, but now that I get it, I'm grateful to have the kind of flexibility. Trapeze couple Duo Rose agree with Madame Zinzani. Samuel and Sylvia have been twisting and turning together for more than a decade. And while their work has allowed them to tour the world, they say nothing is quite like this production. This one has a lot more story. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And also I would say a lot more integration between the cast. We get to actually interact more with the guests here. Also. Like most of the shows that we work, you just do your act and that's it. It makes the audience more appreciative of what they're seeing as well because they see you as a fuller human being and also much closer up. So by the time that we've actually get to our act on the trapeze, we've had lots of experiences with those guests. We've played with them, we've talked with them, and when we're on the trapeze, it's, it's more of a connection between us. It's just like the monkey bars. <laughs> yep, 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 and so oh, I, I don't know if I can Both do this. <laughs> it was after I attempted yeah. a couple of trapeze yeah. routines that I realized just how much upper body strength is needed to perform in the air. Okay. When showtime begins, the trapeze artists swing 14 feet from the air. As you can see, the circus art is at the intersection of gymnastics, dance, and theater. Oh. Yeah. That's why they train three to four days a week for about four hours a day. In so we'll run the act, we will um, do anything that kind of feels a little off during the act. Mm -hmm. So we'll run those sequences, we'll practice those sequences, and then we'll play. Mm -hmm. So we'll work on something new, or we'll work on something that's just for fun. Yeah. Um, and then we usually end each practice with conditioning, where I'm just kind of pulling her up, and she's doing her pike throughs. Trapeze is a full body workout, so yeah. just, just doing it is a workout in itself, and you get to have fun doing it. Yeah. Performers say it's great to be involved in a show where the ensemble extends beyond the stage. People are so grateful to be, be out and just have fun mm -hmm. that like animating with the guests, it was in the past like, it was you know, you, it would took yeah. a little bit to warm them up. And here, like now they just want to play. Mm -hmm. So it's really nice being able to interact and play with them because they really want to get into the joke. They really want to see what you're doing. So you feel a lot more, um, I don't know, I mean, Feedback, I guess? More feedback. More energy back more from energy, them. Yeah. But I also feel like the interaction makes it makes them realize how different live performance is from screens. For Chicago Tonight, I'm Angelito. And you can catch Teatro Zanzani performances Wednesdays through Sundays until August. Visit our website for more details.